in case you had any doubts about whether you could write a song this should hopefully um, make you feel a lot better about it finding your voice as a songwriter is a process and it's not something you can plan or think about without doing it so i like to say clarity comes from engagement you can't just sit back and imagine yourself songwriting without starting if you think that you can't do songwriting and you never try then of course you're right <laughs> but if you give it a go you, you're going to find that, that you can in fact do this especially with the help of my course so what drives you to express yourself sometimes it doesn't come to the tip of the tongue it doesn't come to the front of the brain what we might write a song about but what gets you up in the morning what unique experiences or perspectives do you have um, you know what would you fight for these are the sorts of things that um, have a lot of uh, um, emotion and passion wrapped around them so they're the easiest types of things for us to choose to write a song about and as you start kind of excavating these topics or these experiences to write about you will start noticing um, more often when you do feel strongly about something so and you can think to yourself hmm I have a quite strong opinion about that or I obviously have an emotional reaction to that thing therefore I'm gonna make a note of that because I could probably write a song about that later <laughs> so when you feel intense joy love sadness make a note of what it was and how it made you feel and you can keep that in you know in your songwriting journal or a diary or pad or whatever you want to use you need something and I would recommend um, this is actually my diary but I would recommend a book paper because it's so much easier there's something about um putting pen to paper or crayon to paper or felt tip to paper or pencil to paper that uh is conducive to a creative outlet um it's very difficult i think to type out a song straight away <laughs> or to um you know text on our phone so I recommend you guys get a songwriting book especially and you know if you're afraid of someone else reading your innermost thoughts get a little thing that shuts it or a, a padlock or a, put it in a vault whatever you want to do we want to make note of those things those emotions that we have so that we can use it as fuel for when we come to write a song so we're not necessarily going to feel the thing and write a song in that state because um you know <laughs> when we're feeling emotions or going through an experience that's not necessarily the right time for us to all of a sudden write a song but you're just going to make a note of it for later um so that when you are feeling a bit more neutral and on top of things you can sort of with control put yourself in that space and write a song from there rather than being very emotionally affected about whatever it is that you know that you're thinking of writing a song about but it's not even just the extreme feelings that we can write songs about we can write things about things that are very ordinary and real and that can become you know an ode to the things that you're grateful in life the small little things and that's totally valid for a song as well finding your voice is about learning to listen to the things that get your blood pumping or that that make you feel grateful um, and those are the things that create some sort of visceral emotional reaction in you and therefore there's going to be a lot of um a lot of words coming to the surface that you can use to write a song so what do we write about as with anything we create from scratch the blank white page can be really really daunting so even if we don't have an idea immediately even if we don't already have some ideas in our songwriting journal we can ask ourselves some questions and extract a topic logically so i've got some questions here today that if you um you know if you're inspired right now get a piece of paper and jot down the answer to one of these questions or just save it for later these questions are in the course so all of these things are asking you to excavate some answer to something that you already know you have already experienced that's already um, in your mind in your brain in your heart and that is why we want to write what we know something simple and true that has a lot of possibilities is a nice way to begin so as he says it doesn't even have to be something particularly complicated it doesn't have to be a you know an eye-watering experience or you know some crazy journey across country it can just be something that's true and there, therefore you have 
everything you need in terms of the details because you've actually experienced it to write a song with it and visualize being in the situation that we were originally inspired by we want to remember things like what are what what had our senses all picked up so what can we see touch hear smell feel write it all down Um, the thing about writing a song is that we don't sit down and write a song from start to finish we do a lot of excavating of all the details of how it feels what our senses got um what the point of the song is what kind of journey we want to take the song on all of this excavation happens before we can put the story together and actually make what we call lyrics so i hope that this isn't a surprise to you but if you were thinking oh i cannot write lyrics because it seems like something that's really difficult to just do pen to paper and write song lyrics no no one can i mean you know i mean the natural poets of the world of they probably can but most of us there's there's a process of excavation that we go about to um to figure out what the song is going to be so if you were daunted by writing lyrics just know that it's like all it is is taking a truth or taking a feeling or experience or an emotion or something you feel strongly about and just getting it out that's the first step and then from there we can use some processes to um, shape that and craft it into an actual lyric the only place to start is to acknowledge that no one wrote uh, a poignant original groundbreaking song on their first go and you're just going to start your first song anyway when you're going through the course I I don't want you to be too precious I just want you to go through the exercises just do them don't think well this is the only song I'm ever going to write so therefore it's going to be awesome you're going to write lots of songs and they're going to get better every every time so just go with a low sort of expectation of what's going to come out at the end um, and just just enjoy the experience and the process here's a quote from Dolly Parton that I really love she says songwriting is a way of channeling feelings and thoughts and it's about her world. It's not just about how good it is, but it's how good it makes you feel. So give it a go. All the very best parts of being a musician are when we have fun and we are expressing our creative brain, right? So once you get going, you might surprise yourself with what you come up with. From the piano school that brought you Super Basics. Songs by ear. Love and lead sheets. Peaceful piano. Riffing pro. Yoga for pianists. And the Creative Pianist Membership. Comes a new groundbreaking course from Piano Picnic. The keys to songwriting.